All right, this is kind of a video answer uh, to one of the questions that was posted. Pretty good question, actually, on why is the backdrop apparently so high? Um, and here's the method or the thought thought process that we kind of followed. Um, obviously, it's a rather large backdrop, and there's a lot of it. And even uh, initially when I'm talking to Dave at Backdrop Junction, adding this in would have added considerably to the cost uh, when you're paying by the square inch. So, um, you know, knowing how big this layout was, here's here's the thought process. Obviously, we want to do something. This is this is a a piece of scenery that we salvaged from the old layout, just because I like the rocks. Um, and the thought is that um, if you're going to be covering stuff up, because mostly it will. There's some trees that we just kind of threw in there. Um, you know, all this stuff down here is is going to be covered. Um, now we're still going to have to paint it. We'll probably paint it a black or a dark green or something like that, so it blends in. Uh, but our thought process was, if we're going to do this, you know, why pay for something that's going to be mostly covered up? Um, and the thought, oops, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Tree, um, along here, you know, mostly when you come to a field, you come up to a layout, there'd be like a tree line. Um, so we'll probably actually bring the scenery up a little bit higher. Um, and then these trees would even be higher than that. But even if we did something like this, and these are actually small trees. The scale rule here, which is 85 feet in HO scale, you know, the trees, model rotors, we tend to um, use smaller trees than, than prototypical because you don't want them to overpower uh, the trains because the trees really are a lot bigger, I think, than a lot of us realize. Um, so that's not unusual to have an 85 foot tree, um, which you can see would cover almost all the backdrop. Um, so, again, our thought process was. We're going to be doing that. Let's go ahead and um, you know know that we're going to have some type of scenery going up, and then trees, shrubbery, blah blah blah, that kind of stuff. So uh, that was and again to save some money. Um, that's the thought process. How well it's going to work? To be honest, not really sure till we actually do it. Um, but that's kind of where we're driving towards. Um, now, certain areas, for example, over here. Again, I don't know what in the world we're going to do here. Um, this is kind of a just we had to do it to get the curve uh, to the radiuses that we wanted. Um, it's a little bit, in my, I think it's a little bit too close. I don't know how in the world I'm going to match this in, but we'll do something. Um, might have to be a stone wall, which will look kind of silly coming from a field. Um, so I don't know. Or a real steep, perhaps, uh, you know, they, they this could have been coming down this way and they actually had to dig a cut through it or something like that. I don't know, but we'll have to work on that. Um, back here in... In this area here, where we're going to have the, this is going to be the new Central Valley Bridge. I don't know. Again, um, we're going to have to do something to kind of blend it in some here, somehow. Um, maybe assuming that there's a little hill that came up in some kind of a gully or something. I don't know. Um, I wanted to put a stream in here, um, and then have a you know road underneath that's going to come up into the this side of the yard. I don't know how we're going to make that work. I really don't. But we'll work on that later. Uh, down here in behind the yard, a lot of this, again, is going to be covered because right in here, hard to visualize now with all this stuff here, but um, there's going to be an industry, a rather large industry in here, um, probably a little bit of a three, you know, 3D um, partial buildings as relief and maybe even some more on the backdrop. Um, and actually coming around this, this will, might, might actually make look like a building. Uh, so a lot of this will be covered, you know, just by building itself. Um, so again, the rest of it will have to, uh, whatever we don't cover up, we'll have to paint it most likely, and uh, hopefully it, it'll blend in okay. At the, at the very far end, again, that's going to be kind of tied into the mountains there, just kind of, you know, hills sloping up around the curve and going into the um, match up the, the backdrop, because that's kind of a, you know, the, the, the hillier part, so to speak, so we'll kind of match it in there. Um, all this backdrop is actually of central Pennsylvania. Uh, most of them are when I, when I bought it from, uh, from Dave, except for in the factory area over here. Now, again, um, this is going to have buildings, and they're going to be large buildings. This is going to be, uh, you know, most of the kits that we use are way, way selectively compressed, way too small for, for prototypical... Uh, buildings, but we have to do that for our layouts. But this area, which looks rather big, will be filled up quickly with actual more prototypically sized, uh, you know, three, four, five story buildings, factory buildings and whatnot. So, 
and that'll all match into the backdrop. And again, anything, this is probably going to be buildings coming out of here. Um, so this is all going to be covered up. What we were going to do in this area here was have this track come up and actually go inside. Think of something like the Walther's, um, I think it's Bud's Trucking. So that was going to be along in here, but I decided that, nah, it's just a little bit too close. I didn't like the way that was going to look. So again, here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to kind of bring this down again, maybe through, a, you know, some a tree line along here and then bring it down uh, to track level. Um, around the corner up this way, very similar. Again, we'll kind of have to, this will be kind of a gentle slope back to the field. Uh, and then the same thing around in there. So is it perfect? No. Um, if I could do it over again, uh, which I'm not, given the expense and the agony that Steve and I went through to put this thing up, um, might want to reconsider because uh, unfortunately you can see it's almost like all around the layout the tracks are below the background, which I will make it work. Uh, but there certainly are places where the tracks are above it on a fill or something like that. They're actually above the backdrop. Um, so again, some work to do on how we're going to blend it in, um, but I thought it was a good question. And again, just what kind of wanted to show what our uh, thought process was up here. No, walk this way, knucklehead. Oh. <laughs> Steve's filming. I'm trying to direct him, so excuse the. <laughs> All right. So again, this is kind of the concept. Uh, what we're going to try to do, and when you put trees in there, a lot of it's going to be covered anyway. And I figured, hey, if we're, you know, this would have cost a lot. Believe it or not, this little two two inch addition. Um, given the whole amount of backdrop here would have added quite a bit to the price. Uh, and all it would have done was add sky, because uh, this would have come down, so this would have been two more inches of sky. Um, maybe you should have done it that way. Uh, if I did have it down here, I could have come a little more gradually uh, into the backdrop. But again, I think if we paint this a dark color, um, obviously get rid of that white. We're going to have to cover that up. That'll show up like a sore thumb. Um, I think we'll be able to make it work. So that's the concept. Whether we're gonna, it's going to work out, I don't know. Uh, stay tuned as we get into the scenery phase, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So uh, thanks for the question. It was a good one. And uh, that's our, our thoughts on how we're going to make this uh, backdrop uh, merge into the, uh, the actual 3D scenery. So thanks for watching. Keep the comments coming. Uh, we do appreciate it all, and uh, more, event, more updates events warrant. Thanks.